what's good family so mash the like button and subscribe so as you might have seen by the title one of my dons one of my informant dons sleeper cell dons inside the WBC contacted me earlier today and essentially told me that YB has got the inside track to if Tyson Scary pulls out which if you know and if you follow my channel it's highly likely October 8th will not happen like I said, in the last few days, become apparent Tyson Fury, by way of his dad and himself, have notified the fans that, listen, I've got family problems and chances are I'm not going to make it. John Fury's already said, if I'm not happy, I'm going to pull him out. Tyson Fury made a video today saying, oh, if, if, it's, if, if my child's out by Wednesday, then we're going to, it will go ahead, but if not, then, oh... One of them ones, 100%. John Fury's already told, told everyone. If Fury's not happy with his family, he's not fighting. Fury has essentially, Tyson Fury has essentially come out today and reconfirmed that. Yeah? John Fury and Tyson Fury, aka John Scary and Tyson Scary, have added a conditional on the October 8th. Don't forget that October 8th is supposed to be a fight date. It's supposed to be, I'm fighting there. And this is the thing. <laughs> Champions of old would say, it was almost, what's the word? It was, it was almost a, it's a must, not a must. It, it was what it was. A date, a fight date. Which mean, and everything else that came around that, I don't care if my leg falls off. I don't care if whatever happens. In fact, we uh, recently even, I've heard of people's parents passing away, yeah? And they've gone in the ring and said, I'm doing it for my parent. Do you understand? That's what not only the great fighters do. That's what true fighters do. True fighters find a way to get in there and crack on. Bottom line. They do it in spite of things going on. But these new age fighters. I might even say new age. Because like I said, there was fighters recently who, whose family had died and they fought anyway. So it's not just new age, but there is a new age tint to it. This new age fruitiness displayed by Tyson Fury <laughs> is what it is. We'll use anything to get out of fighting. And this just seems to be the latest one. Yeah, but either way, now I've given you man the background. The fact of the matter is, the odds for October 8th have just plummeted. Fury pulled out on in for the July 24th date, and that already made the October 8th date super suspect, in as much as people are thinking, well, Wilder already took Fury to court, and that didn't work, already got a date in July 24th, that didn't work, and now, Tyson Fury and his team are basically saying, if they're not happy, if all their conditions aren't met, which, by the way, these aren't official conditions, like, <laughs> the, the, these aren't, what's the word I'm looking for, these aren't testable conditions Fury's looking for, the Team Fury have basically said, if we're not happy, if our emotions aren't satisfied, then we're not fighting. That's not the same as something official, yeah? They're just, if, if their emotions blow a certain way, if I'm not happy with the state of my family on a particular date, I'm not going to be fighting. It's not something rigid. Or it's not something that's independently controlled or out of their hands. Fury controls how he feels about his family, does he not? If that makes sense. It's all within your circle of control. If you choose to let family events to get on top of you, and, and not not make your training, that's on you, isn't it? And like I said before, either way, Fury, if he was a true man, would understand that and say, you know what, I need to commit my whole life to my family. See you later, belts. See you later, boxing. My family's worth too much. Because a lot of you flip-flopping dons, yeah, you rant and rave about, oh, YB, I can't believe you're saying this, and, oh, YB, Fury's family. If Fury was really a family man, he'd spend all of his time with his family, wouldn't he? He wouldn't be trying to dip in and dip out. So anyway, now you've got the background. Like I was saying at the start of the video today, I heard from one of my WBC insider dons, and he basically told me that WBC... Despite being paid by MTK, because of public pressure, they're feeling it. And obviously because of Dillian White's pressure as well, even though Dillian, even Dillian White and Eddie Hearn have been a bit moist to be fair. They're, I'm pretty sure they're half paid from what I'm hearing as well. Eddie Hearn and Dillian White are half paid off. Because they ain't done nothing have they? 
It's been two years, and they've been saying they're doing stuff with lawyers. They ain't done nothing with no lawyers, because it don't take that long, does it? And there ain't been no papers that have dropped. So either way, I think everyone's in cahoots together, truth be known, in the whole boxing game. I think the whole boxing game has been corrupted by MTK, truthfully speaking. MTK are everywhere. Their tentacles are everywhere. Yeah? I mean, literally, their tentacles are, are in Ty Tyrone Booth. <laughs> no doubt, yeah? El Chopper Hand's tentacle is all the way upside Tyrone. All the way upside bottom Tyrone Booth. No doubt. But either way, from what I'm hearing, despite the top, top level of MTK corruption within WBC, like I said, I'm hearing if Tyson Scary pulls out of the October date, October 8th date, it's going to be Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder. Why, you ask? Well, we know it's been two years the belt hasn't been defended, which is kind of stressing the WBC president out. Why? Because they already know people like the YB and other top-level journalists are already sniffing around. And they understand the heat's on them. So what they don't want to do is, they don't want to attract any more attention than they already have. So for example, if Fury pulls out in October 8th, and they still sit idle, it's just unwanted attention. They can only, they can only make it, they can only be so corrupt, if that makes sense. So what I'm hearing now is, what they're going to do, like I said, if this October date does fall through, they're going to substitute Dillian White in. And Deontay Wilder. Because also, not only does it look bait from a corruption point of view. Also, we heard recently the WBA themselves are in some... I've got another video coming soon to explain this. But the WBA themselves, you can look it up on Google. They've been undergoing... I think Sporting Icons did a video on it. They've been undergoing some goofy corruption investigation. So add all these factors adding up. The WBC are feeling the pressure. They ain't trying to be... You know what I'm saying? They ain't trying to be investigated. So if Fury pulls out in October, Gillian White and Deontay Wilder will be fighting for that belt. And obviously, they're most likely going to put Tyson Fury as champion in recess. And also, another factor which has encouraged them to actually put a fight on is, number one, we know Gillian White and his team are always sniffing around, talking about legal cases. That doesn't help, even though they've gone kind of quiet. I believe MTK have smoothened over Dillian White's claim, but there we are. But s secondly, or lastly, is Deontay Wilder. If Fury pulls out again, from what I'm hearing, Deontay Wilder's team, they're going to petition, essentially, just to get the belt. If that makes sense. They're going to cut their losses and understand that, listen, Fury ain't never going to get in the ring with us. So we may as well take our chances against Dillian White. Than better than just sitting around for another two years, which is most likely what's going to happen. Because if Fury doesn't fight on October 8th, he ain't fighting for another two years, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. He'll be, but don't get me wrong. This is from what I'm hearing from WBC insiders. However, we haven't heard what Fury will do in response. In as much as when when this when these plans get leaked out there, yeah, that WBC's planning to do. F Dillian White versus Wilder for the WBC belt in October. Or it'll probably be in November, won't it? Or December. Because if Fury pulls out in October, then they'll need eight weeks to get ready for Dillian. But either way, if that's the case, that the WBC does go forward with them plans, we don't know what Fury's response will be. For example, for all we know, MDK get their hand in their pocket and smooth... You know what I'm saying? This is basically what I'm hearing. These are preliminary plans. If Fury does this, we'll do this. But notice, the WBC aren't brave enough to come out and say this. Because really, what the WBC should have been doing, like I said before, when Fury pulled out in July, WBC should have come out and said, essentially incentivizing Fury to turn up in October, and pressurizing Fury to turn up in October. They should have said, Fury, you've pulled out in July, fine. We want to make sure, or bottom line is, if you do not, Turn up on October 8th, the belt will be going to Dillian White and Deontay Wilder. Because once you've set that, then everyone's clear. It's no big mystery. And it, But the reason they haven't done that publicly is because, guess what? From what, I'm, from what I understand, the WBC is still open to corruption, if that makes sense. They don't want to put things out publicly, because if they put that out publicly, then they're held to that. 
what <laughs> what I reckon they're going to do is they're going to play both sides. They're going to say, yeah, yeah, we're going to do Dillian White and Deontay Wilder, and essentially encourage MTK to give them some more money. So to be fair, I won't be shocked either way. I won't be shocked if the fight don't happen and the WBC allow Tyson Fury to hang around for another four years. Or, I wouldn't be surprised if they do crack on with Dillian White and Deontay Wilder. Either way, we'll know what's going on. For example, if Fury pulls out in October and Dillian White and Deontay Wilder isn't announced publicly, then we'll know that MTK dipped their hand in their pocket and done, did some serious massaging. Yeah? The kind of massaging Tyrone Booth does for El Trapahan on a Friday night. <laughs> no doubt. Deepest massaging. Yeah? If they do announce it, then we'll know that either the WBC found some backbone or the WBC felt public pressure from the YB. Or maybe MTK just ain't trying to pay no more in bribes. You know, understand? Because I don't care what no one says. If you think that the WBC, they don't forget, the heavyweight belt is the most, not only prestigious, but it's in fact scrap prestigious. The WBC belt is the biggest revenue generating belt. Because it's the most famous one. Oh, sorry. Because it's the it's the biggest division. That's where the money is. Apart from Alvarez, that's where your big money is. You need that belt to be fighting. Unless you're the WBC. So, my point is, why would the WBC allow their primary belt, their primary earner? I reckon the WBC belt probably earns more than all belts combined, excluding if Alvarez has a belt. If Alvarez doesn't have a belt, I reckon that WBC belt earns more than a whole lot of them put together. So why would WBC have allowed that belt to stay idle for two years? And still, even after two years, they still haven't injected any any terms to it. They have, still haven't injected any pressure onto Tyson Fury, even after two years. Even after losing a, a law case. You expl if, you, if, you just, if you don't think it's corruption, what is it then? If it's not payments, what is it? Because we know that WBC is a business. Now, I've never heard of a business being happy to lose their number one earner and just be sitting idle about it. Fair enough, RYB. It's only been six months. You know, there's been some bad and fortunate circumstances. You're too conspiratorial. Oops. 18 months later, 20 months later, they sent no mistake where, oh, it's a few month mistake and they've missed one fight. The WBC's been inactive for essentially four fights now. And still, no word from them. And you think, you know, what, and you just think they've written that off? You think that, you think the company writes off their number one earner and does nothing about it? And just sits there idle, ready for it to be more idle? I don't think so. They've been clearly smoothed over. And we already know from records that, for example, Carl Frampton was managed by MTK, yeah? And guess what? Carl Frampton didn't pay them any money. I think they was paying him. Since when does that work? Management companies usually, well not usually, factually, management companies, their job is to manage. They get paid a percentage. Carl Frampton was getting paid by MTK. <laughs> Oops. Which shows MTK has set the precedent for paying for things. Bottom line. And we already know they've got a whole gag of, bag of money to be buying stuff with. So it's not a big stretch to think that, oh, wait, wait there a minute, the WBC who makes their money with that with having belts that are active, all of a sudden, want their biggest belt, their number one earner, isn't active, and they're absolutely silent about it. And they're running away from questioning about it. And f what do we know? The fighter involved, the fighter in question, Tyson Fury, is number one link with MTK. Oops. <laughs> because who else? Who else would be satisfying the, M the WBC's demand for revenue? Who else would be doing that? Well, we know it's got to be someone close to Fury, because Fury holds the belt. It's not going to be Eddie... Why would Eddie Hearn be paying WBC to let Tyson Fury keep the belt? doesn't make sense. Someone is paying WBC for their lost revenue. Who is it? Oops. So anyway, I hope that... I hope that the... Well, I'm not, I'm not sure what you'd call it, but I hope that the goodness prevails. I hope that Dillian White and Deontay Wilder prevail in this... When this October 8th fight falls through. That's all we can do at this point. And I wish that there was some proper organisations. Some proper news organisations who investigate what's going on here. It's shocking. And in fact, even all the 
boxing commentator shillers. I don't know. Pick who you want. Sky. Whoever you want. No, no, no one says anything. They all just sit there and allow this belt to be not used for two years and no one's saying nothing. It's mad. Everyone seems to think it's just normal. It's normal for someone to have to go to court, for someone to pull out, and then for someone to be setting up another pull out. Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder anyway. In conclusion, that's what I'm hearing from one of my WBC mold ons. Yeah? They've told me this is what this is what the good ones want to happen. There is, don't get me wrong, not everyone in WBC is getting paid off. There are some good dons, yeah? Like I said, the general I know, he's a solid don. And he's pushing for Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder. Obviously, he's probably going to wind up missing somewhere, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah? But all we can do at this point as boxing fans, we're cooked, essentially. Boxing fans have been cooked. We're all in the cupboard, just sitting there watching Tyson Fury playing around with a belt. No doubt.